Hello, everyone. You might be wondering, oh my goodness, hi, <laughs> where I am. <laughs> I am on the server where it kind of all began. I am on Merchant Villages. Um, and this right here next to me is the server owner, Father Who. He's very active, which is something that you don't normally get to see on a, on a server. Um, this server actually has been going since January 2013. 2013! It's only been reset once. Isn't that amazing? You don't really get that a lot. It is a survival vanilla server with an economy, um, but it's a very plug-in heavy. Uh, this is actually when you join the server for the first time, this is where you come in. I actually built this. Um, someone came and decorated it for Halloween. It's very festive and added some new additions. I love that. I love that idea. I might have to borrow that idea. I love that. So I figured I'd just kind of give a tour of this place and just kind of show you guys, I'll give you a little tour, maybe show you the base that uh, Mimpa and I have, you know, claimed here. So once you, once you come in here, your options are to, to teleport. Uh, you can teleport on this server. So I'm actually going to teleport to spawn. Oh, I love that! They did a lot of, this is so cute with the Halloween decorations, I love this. Um, I'm not going to spoil spawn too much just in case you decide to, to come check it out, or who knows, maybe you already play here. Um, so yeah. This is the server where it all began. Uh, it's the second server that I ever played on, ever. And I came here with a bunch of friends because we were looking for a new server and we found here and we, we loved the environment. It's, it's such a healthy place. There's no drama, there's mature staff. It's family friendly, um, which I really liked the idea of. Um, it's just, it's an all around a really good server. Yeah, and then I, I became, I ended up becoming staff here, actually. I'm still staff, oddly enough, even though I haven't had a lot of chance to play on this server. Yeah, Merchant Villages, Volume 2. Like I said, they only went through one reset. The first, it was Volume 1 before. That was uh, before my time here. Mimpa, however, was here when it was still Version 1. It was still uh, Version 1. So I first came on here, oh, it was a while ago warp houses. So there's a lot of warps here on this server. You can just kind of warp around, which is nice. If you die, you can do slash back and get back to your death point to collect your stuff. Um, but what I want to look at here is I want to show you my first base. So I came into the server and I settled in an area uh, nearby one of, my, one of my good friend at the time. And it was in a mega Tyaga. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it was, it was a nice spot. And I, I did expand it, but this was my first base. Oh, and yes, I am flying. Then certain areas on the server you're allowed to fly. The house, this is, all these houses are for sale. Because, again, it's an economy server. So I first started making this base in 2016. So right around 2016 is when I came on the server. Ooh, I forgot about those. One of the things I like, one of the plugins they have is the custom art, the custom maps. So these are um, artwork that I asked the server owner, Father Who, to bring in game for me. Because these are all images that I either really like, I just like that one because, you know, I'm a, I'm a, my skin's a fox when it's, you know, not Halloween time. Um, and actually, I don't know if you can read this, the orange text, it says currently dis disguised as a fox. Um, any of the other players would just see a regular fox, a Minecraft fox running around. Because uh, that's one of the things that they have as a donor pack, is the disguises. And Mimpa bought me the one disguise pack for Christmas. So I just liked that one, because I thought it was very fitting. Uh, this one, for any of you who are... Um, Studio Ghibli fans, um, Hayao Miyazaki, you'll you'll get this one. And this is actually a, back from my youth. It was a card, like a little trading card or something that was given to me. And um, I it always I've always really liked this one. It always really resonated with me. So yeah, this this I expanded it a bit 
when I first moved in here, but I've always liked fireplaces. So you came in here, there's the, the entryway, and then the kitchen. Um, I did so much crafting in this kitchen. Oh goodness. Um, the server has MCMM, MMO, and I did so much grinding in here to get my levels up. Oof. At one point I was working in a project and I had the double chests in this area just filled to the ceiling. So I was working on grinding out, I think it was my salvage or something. Because again, gold block and iron block is, is for the MCMMO. Um, and then once Mimpa and I, you know, we met here on the server, we became friends. And he pranked me and he filled my whole base with cake. So I came in to game, it popped into my home and boom, cakes everywhere. Oh, he even had cakes up in this tree right here. Anyway, I have screenshots of it, but not a lot. And this, I made this and asked father to bring it in game. Life is short, eat dessert first. I found that somewhere when I was a teenager in a magazine, but I made this image specifically for in game with the Minecraft desserts. That was, I think, my very first art that I asked Father Who to bring in game for me. So, to continue the tour, this is my refrigerator. Some things never change. I still really like that style. Then you go upstairs to the bedroom little crafting room, another fireplace, and then I had a little cubby hole up here where I had all my um, my valuable store stored up there. And then down here was the basement. So this is where all my storage was. So this is the root cellar. This was again filled with chests. And this was before you could actually place two regular double chests next to each other. Uh, so I had that many trapped chests as well, so I could just fill, this room was filled with chests. And then this brought you down into like where my mining, to a, another a bit, a secondary basement where we had animals at. Just a little back room. Didn't do anything, just needed to space, so. And that brings you out here. And then um, there was a garden that way at the initial location. We have world edit on this server so staff can move uh, builds and things for a fee. So if anyone buys this base, then world edit can be used to just move it. So that's how I got it here in the first place. I moved it from the original spot to here so I could, I could put it for sale. Now this is a room I added on much later. Um, doesn't look like anything, but for for those of you now who are watching this video, you are now in the know because this is not advertised. This there's a secret into this room. Look at that. Secret storage. So super secret storage. Put all your diamonds in there. And that utilizes craft book. Which Mimpa would like to do instructional videos on how to utilize craft book. But um, yeah, he has to upgrade his computer before he can start recording. Otherwise he'd be he'd be help you know he'd be joining me on the channel a lot more than what he currently is. Just a little side door. This is where I grew my trees and things. I think that's about it. I mean, it was just a starter base, but it had, it had everything I needed. Again, I added this room later for my brewing, for brewing up all my potions, because I did open up a shop um, at the spawn. There's a mall, and I had a shop there where I sold all different kinds of potions. And because, again, there's MCMMO here, there's actually potions that you can brew th because of that. So, like, there's haste potions and wither effect potions, and I sold those ones as well. And then I added in a barn with my horses, the little loft in there. And then, at the time, I had made myself a villager breeder. And there was a spot where, in my like second or third basement, I had a water stream that they would go into the house so that I could uh, do the villager trading. But um, this design is defunct. Very old design. Where you, you need the doors, you know, the one villager in here and however many doors, then he, you know, the babies would, you know, appear down below here. 
So yeah, I mean, I built that. Well, whenever the whatever the mechanics were for villagers back in what 2016, 2017. So yeah, blast from the past. Yes, yeah, so that's what my very first base looked like. And then when Mimpa and I started playing a lot together here on the server, um, we sh we started sharing a base. So I actually went and moved all my all my stuff over to his base, which is uh, again kind of a relic for here on the server. Um, as it was, it was built by uh, an earlier player who used to play on here a lot, and was a talented builder. But there's there's been so many talented builders. So yeah, these all these houses. This is a warp houses area. All these are for sale. Like I said, this is an economy server. So actually, these are some of the houses I built. So I built that one specifically for sale on here. So these are the model homes. So I built this model home. Um, I got my inspiration for this one off of the um, Harry Potter, off of the burrow was kind of my inspiration. Well, again, just inspiration. I wasn't trying to build the burrow. I just kind of went off of it, the, the whole idea of it like teetering and like bits kind of stuck in weird angles. So that's why I got like that room coming off of here and kind of fun. And then I built this, this one too, kind of a larger sprawling place. So I've got a couple builds on here that are for sale in the model home area. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing this one being built. Yep, Is Minty built this one, and I think I think he had help from one other player. I don't think this is just Is Minty. Like I said, a lot of talented builders here. Let's see what else should I show you. I could probably show you the base. Let me go home and see here. Um, all right, I don't even know where to start showing you here. So Mimpa has been playing on this server since I don't even know when. So I think Mimpa was playing on here since like the first year the server came to be. So sometime in 2013, I think. So yeah, he's been around a long time on the server Mimpa has. Um, again, we haven't really been on here much lately and we feel bad about that just because Father Who is such an amazing person and he's such a good server owner. He cares, he cares so much about the server. Um, and it's got such a good like family feel about it. Like everyone is just, I don't know, it's just got such a nice feel. Anyway, so a lot of these builds, he, these are all old, builds from players who played on the server for a while and then left and never came back. And um, Nimpa took, you know, you know, world edit, paid to have the world edit done to bring the pieces over to his base. So this main base was built by yeah, Sif047. Um, so she built the main, this main base that he, he used up all his, so on here the currency is emeralds. He used up all his emeralds that he had in order to in order to buy the space, and then he's been just adding to it since then. So you know, someone built that little pixel art, and he brought it over here. That pixel art, he brought it over here. Um, this pixel art is actually mine from a contest build. So they do have contest builds on here. In fact, there's probably a Halloween themed one going on right now. Um, so yeah, I made this for the um, contest. It was when the, hi, oh yeah, I'm flying around. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm staff, so I have the fly ability. Father knows that I'm doing kind of an introduction video on this on the server, but technically speaking, I better, I better stop doing that. So let me turn off, <laughs> let, me, let me not be staff abuse. <laughs> no, father can watch this video and he can yell at me. <laughs> like, staff abuse, staff abuse. <laughs> Right, so now that I'm like legitimately being Ave here, better take care of these things. Oh yeah, plug in. Um, when you kill bad, uh, the mon monsters, they they drop emeralds for you. So that's a good way to just kind of get. I should put armor on. Um, it's a good way to kind of get emeralds, especially when you're starting out. You can just grind by you know killing the naturally spawning mobs. 
All right, so so yeah, I have been added a little poem here. Tell me what is more beautiful, how the moon lets the sun shine throughout the day, or the way the sun lets the moon glimmer at night, by SB. So that was part of my, you know, for, for this build here, with the release that had the uh, glazed terracotta. All right, so yeah, this base is so large. <laughs> Well, I mean, if he's been playing on the server since 2013, and he was in back in the day, I mean, Mimpo was spending hours when he was in college. In college was actually pretty easy for him, so he would spend almost all his time on the server. All right, so let me go. There's another one that someone built and he purchased it. Let me go down into the uh, into the main house of the build. Those are all player heads of um, notable players and staff members. He would be able to tell you who each of these are, and I know a few of them. Obviously, that one, oh, I don't have my mods on here. Um, way up the top there is Father Who. And you can see my head is up there too. My original head, I even think, because it doesn't have the details in the hair. <clears throat> so that's actually an old head of mine. Anyway into the main house and through here yeah. okay um wow it's been a while since i've been on here we would gift mimpa and i would gift each other like little flowers and things and he saved them I'm sorry these are all the ones i gave him <laughs> I mean, some of them are goofy, like I named this, you spin me right round, you know, like the song, get it, disc. <laughs> anyway, because I have in here, I have a wall of memory, um, and he liked that idea. Oh, yeah, we had a friend make that for us. That's his dog, his childhood dog. Artwork I brought in here. If anyone of you uh, play that on the, on the old play on the old PlayStation, so this is like kind of our crafting area. This is where I see Mimpa has left his shulker boxes, or maybe not. Maybe he left these here for me. Ooh, two shulker boxes full of sea lanterns. I bet you these are for me. Oh, that's right. He told me he did that. Okay, let me grab these. <laughs> Building materials, yay! So. When I came to this base to, to I, I moved in, when I moved in, I, I put a hole in the wall and I expanded out and this, this is the area I made for myself. Um, I kept the theme of the base going, but I, I added a bunch of the old artwork you can see from the, from the, old, from the old base. I just found new homes. There's my wall of memory. So it's all stuff, you know, from the very first dragon fight, I think. Yeah, that was from the first dragon fight. Um, oh, that doesn't, that's broken. That's a bummer. That was a really unusual looking head. So some of these are just like jokes. Um, some of these are very sentimental. Like each of these books are written books, you know, from, from my old, my old crowd that used to play here with us. Um, yeah, baseball bat. <laughs> uh, a couple. I don't even remember what, how many how old, Halloween's ago. I dressed up in game. I changed my skin to be. Um, I dressed. I changed my skin to Harley Quinn. So that was my baseball bat. <laughs> my little uh, <laughs> to go with the to go with the costume. Oh, God. Whoops! Because I break things. They're all fixed. The only problem about this base is Mimpa has so many farms and things in it that it it creates a bit of lag. So I actually have to get out of here. I can't be in our base. I went back to spawn. Um, I don't know what's going on with their base. Like I said, that base has been, it's actually on an old map. Um, father was trying to get, I mean, he's been doing this now for, for quite a bit. I think everyone's moved over to the new map. Um, but our base is just so huge. Uh, it's just, yeah, the whole idea of moving it, I don't even know if world edit can move that whole thing even even if you did it in pieces I don't even know how that would how many pieces it would take so back to spawn 
So I figured I'd come see if there was a current Halloween build contest, and there is. Look at that. So what Father does is he makes a big box for you to build in, so that way then no one can spy and take ideas off of you. It kind of keeps everyone honest. And then uh, when it's build, when the building time is up, he takes down these boxes, and then everyone can kind of you know go through here and see. Uh, terraforming contest plots is available for free. Make sure your plot number is displayed on your build. Lock your door. Use C modify to add others. Boxes will be removed when the voting begins. Players can open, unlock doors, use buttons, and pressure plates. And there's prizes. The winner of the build contest will get to choose their prize. Choice number one. Ooh, MC MMO events. Ooh, art credits. You use the art credits to buy those custom paintings I was showing you about, because there's actually a place where you can look to see which ones are for sale. Two Wither Skeleton Skulls, a bunch of TNT, slime, sea lanterns, and anvil. Ooh, 12 guest tiers. Choice number two is 1,500 emeralds. Choice number three is a bunch of different ores. Nice. Choice number four is a 1,500 vote credits for when you're voting on the site. You can use those to purchase in-game stuff, um, like art credits, for example. Choice number five, shulker boxes, more MC MMO events, enchanted gold, ooh, super enchanted gold levels, more art credits, and some spawn eggs. Nice. Art credits work for paintings and the deco heads. Oh yeah, that's right, there's deco heads too. Deco heads are really cool here. Fun. And you know, it's, I'm, you can, I can legitimately fly here. <laughs> well, I won't get in trouble. Well, anyway, once you come into the world and you go into the, the little cabin for, for when you first come in, you just RTP, and that brings you to just a random spot in the world, and then you can start playing. So you know, go back to your pun punching your trees and getting your wood and your crafting table and mining and the whole nine yards. Um, so just basically, it's vanilla. It's vanilla. So you come in here, the, the thing though. Oh, no, I'm not going to spoil it. If you uh, guys want to come on here and, 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 and try it out, it's the plugins on the server are fun. Um, they make the, some of the gameplay a little, a little nicer. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you come through here, you do your vanilla gameplay, you know, whatever. You Maybe you go, oh, there's a fox! Oh. Uh, anyway, I get distracted. Um, you get some emeralds going, and so instead of just trading those emeralds with villagers, you have more options for yourself. And this is where the warps come into place. So if you go, you know, you can just go directly to spawn, or if you just type in warps, it does you, it shows you where all the different warps you can go to. Uh, so like, let's say, warp mall. Let's go to the mall. How festive is that? Isn't that great? Look at that. So these are all player shops. So you can rent a little area, and um, you can put in, put in a shop here. And this is where you can come and spend some of your emeralds. So... Well, that's kind of fun. Hello, I'm Waterwood. Welcome to my shop. Fish and fins. That's cute. There's a puffer fish in there. Yep. <laughs> so this is chess shops. So you just right click or left click, depending if it's selling or buying. So that's how that works, and it comes right out of your balance. There is a bank here on the server, Warp Bank, and that's where you can deposit your emeralds um, so that you can use the chest shops. There are some shops where you don't have to use the chest shops. A lot of these do because it's, you know, um, it's really easy to set up a chest shop. But some of the other ones, let's see if I can find one. Ooh, this is really cool. Oh, no wonder, Jake. Jake is an amazing builder. I mean, look at his shop. I haven't seen this one. He's got the deco head hamburger in here. All right, so here we go. Um, so this is another shop. So you could just click on the villager, right click, and then these you just, so any, you can see I've got emeralds in my 
inventory here. So if I wanted to buy some cooked chicken, I can buy some cooked chicken, I can buy a portion of regeneration. These are all things that he's selling here in his shop. Um, but I've got plenty of food, I've got fish on me. So, but that, for, for example though, that's how you can actually use your, you know, emeralds that you have on you here at the mall to buy food mm. or, or books. Although she's out of stock. When you see the X, it means that they're out of stock. My shop's probably out of stock too. <laughs> oh, this shop is this. <laughs> Waltzy. That's fun. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. The missing texture. Father who's random stuffs. This is a shopkeeper. Oh, it's a parent shopkeeper. Cool. Selling bamboo. So it looks like a shop under construction. Here's a bunch of villagers. What are they selling? Unenchanted armor. He's out of stock. Oh, well, can you get blue wool? He's got some books. Protection, infinity, respiration three for five blocks of emeralds. So you can set your own prices. So I do have, I can, I can legitimately fly here. Um, I do have two, three shops. I used to have six, but um, I have such a hard time keeping up on them. So I have the past, pa the past pawn, pawn shop. Let's say that five times fast. So just random stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm out of ender pearls. I still got blaze reds though, charcoal. I'm selling slime balls too. Just wanna check my stock. Yeah, am I really out of the books? I still got some books in there. So anyway, you actually, these these guys, if you open up a shop at the mall and you want a villager or an animal shopkeeper, it does cost emeralds. Um, you know, it's not free. So again, because it's an economy server, you know, they, it, it does cost something. So that's why the chess shops are nice, because you don't, it, that's, that's free. So the cost of the shop itself, and then you can just put chess shops in there. Um, or if you don't want to rent a shop, there is an actual chess shop spot where you can just throw up a chest, slap the chess shop sign on it. But anyway, um, I think that is it for today. Let me go back to the main spawn. Thank you for joining me on this little memory lane. This is where it all began, right here on Merchant Villages. This is where Mimpa and I met. We became good friends, and then we started having more romantic feelings for each other, and then one thing led to another, and now here we are. Um, so yeah, this is where it all began. So I will put a um, in the description directions on how to get here, um, a link to the website as well. Like I said, this is this is really is a nice server, and it's, it's open to anybody, but just keep in mind that there are rules on the server. So when you do pop, if you do decide to check it out, um, do take a moment to read the rules. Um, there also is slash rules, if I can spell it right, slash rules, respect other players, no offensive language, no hacks, no griefing, no offensive skins, no drama, no advertising other servers, and have fun. Um, and, you know, and that's what really keeps it fun here, is that those rules are actually enforced, um, which is one thing as a staff member, I don't like having to, if someone comes on here and they're just really not being very nice in the chat. It's not fun to deal with. Don't be one of those people. Um, this is this is such a sweet place. So thank you for joining me on this little stroll down memory lane and a little introduction to Merchant Villages. And I will catch you all in the next episode, whatever it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks. Bye.